Okay, here we have the Holman FCT3 Bisecure Digital Wireless Keypad. And in this video, we're going to set it up, put a code in, and code it into our hand transmitter to operate the door. So the first thing to know is um, when you're fitting this, don't fit it up on a wall tight to something because you need to get your fingers in to take this cover off if ever you need to change the batteries. And to get the cover off, you put your thumbs above the numbers, pull the cover out to the side and up, and then that will allow you access to the screw so you can take the front off. Uh, I've already put the batteries in on this. So the first thing to do is uh, set up your code. Now there are three memory spaces in this, one, two, and three. So you can use it to operate three different devices. That could be uh, two garage doors and a set of gates or a garage door, an outside lighting system and a set of gates. Um, but for this, we only need one memory space. It's just going to operate a door. Uh, so the first thing to do is press the key so you illuminate the keypad. Press the key button. Press number one for memory space one. Press the key button again. We're going to put our code in of one, 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 one. Press the key button again. Put the code in again. One, 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 one. Press the key button again. And that is now set up with our code. So what we now need to do is code our hand transmitter in um, to that memory space. Now, the key to this is timing. Because you have to hold the hand transmitter button down until the light starts to flash red and blue and then that will accept the code from it. So what we will do is press the key to illuminate the keypad, hold the hand transmitter button down, put our code in, one, 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 one. That's now flashing red and blue, so we can hit the key button. The blue light on the FCT3 starts to flash. It flashes quicker, it stops flashing. That has now taken the code from this, but this, button has to have been held down long enough for the light to flash red and blue before we hit that key button so it will take the code now that should have been coded in so if I press a button to illuminate the keypad put my code in one 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 press the key button you can hear that's now operating the door 